the uh, the Tour de France last year has to be uh, has to be the most the most standout um, after so many years of trying in the Tour de France, trying every single day to, to get some uh, sort of result. Yeah, it's <laughs> I guess it's a little bit emotional. It's um, yeah, it was something like uh, like I never never experienced before. Never thought I would actually experience. I was uh, it was always a dream. And um, yeah, when I crossed the finish line, it just felt like a massive uh, weight off my shoulders. I was so happy for the rest of the rest of the year. I think um, yeah, it wasn't just a, it wasn't just a normal race win. It was something more special. First decent victory, I guess, was uh, in the under 17s nationals. It was my first six months of of riding slash racing a bike, um, and my coach at the time just. I had no idea what bike racing was. I didn't know what to do, but um, yeah, he said, just just ride around the circuit until uh, you get to this lap on this bridge. You attack and you'll win. And so I was really oblivious. So I just I, we were riding around, going up and down this hill at the same time. I think we did it 15 times or something. And then uh, yeah, we got to that lap and I attacked and I won solo by I think almost a minute. So that was probably. Uh, I think that was my first, yeah, proper victory. My, my nickname Bling started from uh, when I first started cycling. Um, I went from uh, from the motocross track to the velodrome, and um, I was just starting and uh, didn't really know how the whole cycling world worked. And um, yeah, all the kids that I was riding against were all private school kids, so they all came in their suits and everything, with their hair all uh, gelled and everything, all looking really professional and with their really expensive bikes and everything and I just had a borrowed bike that I that I wanted to ride and well the only thing I had to ride and um, yeah I came to the track and I put my underwear underneath my uh, my nicks and yeah done everything wrong basically so everyone was just laughing at me and um, yeah I, I arrived with my baggy shorts with uh, my yeah bling belt and chains and bracelets and uh, earrings and my hair done all crazy and yeah, I think from then it was um, yeah my one of my good friends, his dad, uh, gave me the nickname actually, and um, from then on it's just stuck. Okay. Yeah. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. I like bling, roll. but um, yeah, I think it's nice when people know the real story behind it. Not to, uh, it's not that I'm this arrogant, confident, uh, uh, money-hungry person. It's I'm I'm just a normal guy. I like I. I like nice things, but they're not the things that motivate me. And I, I just like, I like looking nice. I like dressing nice, but uh, yeah. Uh, what motivates me? Um, yeah, I think I want to be the best. I think uh, that's that's motivating enough every day to get to get up and train hard every day and do everything right is uh, is to be the best. And I think um, if you if you do everything right, if you sleep right, you eat right, you train right, um, if you do all those things, then uh, yeah, you just got to believe in your dream, I guess. My dream for the future is just to keep getting better, um, to keep improving, to keep being consistent, I guess, through through my whole career, and um, yeah, just try and get the best out of of the capabilities that I have, and um, see what comes out of it.